I'd like to do a number for you first, a very beautiful thing. It was written especially for my concert in Carnegie Hall in Shimbashi. <laughs> where Jose disturbed me, walked up to me and said, Mr. Piano Player, you are without a doubt. That's all he said. <laughs> we like the tune very much, so it's a very beautiful thing. It's called Liberace in the Men's Room or Stranger in Paradise. <laughs> You'll recognize this. sing this part right now. song sung for years and years and years by different people around town, but you've never uh, known the actual translation of this particular tune, have you? All right, then I'd like to enlighten you. She ain't got no yo-yo. He Got no yo yo awesome. Don't they make a heck of a pair? Trying and trying and getting nowhere. Oh, what a big surprise to find that they just weren't there. No fun, dry run. What's the matter, you last night? Mm -hmm. She ain't got no yo-yo. This song is heartily dedicated to Miss Christine Jorgensen. Name. She ain't got none also. Yo, 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 yo. What do you think I was talking about, huh? Yo. Thank you. Thank you, music lovers. We're singing songs especially for the uh, locale tonight. You know, I sort of kind of take a song and localize it. Here's another one. Sukiyaki mambo, katsudong mambo. Mm, sashimi gohan mambo, taco bushi mambo. He goes to. She goes also. He goes fast. She goes slow. He goes left. She goes right. Papa's looking for mama, but mama is way out of sight. Where did she go? Mm. Mama's in the banjo. <laughs> Sukiyaki mambo Don't play a rumba and don't play a samba Cause Papa loves mambo tonight Ooh. Oh tofu mambo Soba mambo She 
goes also. He goes, Hayaku. <laughs> she goes, oh, so, so slow. He goes left. She goes right. Papa's looking for mama, but mama is way out of sight. Where did she go? <clears throat> Mama's in the banjo. The sukiyaki mambo. Don't play a rumba and don't play a samba, cause Papa loves mambo tonight. Thank you very much. Well, I've had some wonderful times over here in Japan. You know, there are many strange things that can happen to you. I was out with a very, very beautiful girl about three or four nights ago. She really had something. I think I got it now. I don't know. I... <laughs> anyway, we were sitting at the bar together. She had about five martinis in a row. She said, one more of these and I'm going to be tight. I said, yeah, you're going to have to cut it out. I'm getting stiff. <laughs> Later on, we found out we were both wrong. <laughs> the time I got married, I thought I married a girl like dear old mother. But heaven help father if mother was ever like this. Now, the day we took our wedding vows, I heard her say, I do. But on our wedding night, she said, I do, but not for you. I thought I married a girl like dear old mother. Oh, so simple, oh, so sweet, and oh, so pure. Now she called me to her room one night, so romantic and so free. She said, come forth, my hero. I'm as romantic as can be. But she only said, come forth, because three guys were ahead of me. I thought I married a girl like dear old ma. Well, I thought I married a girl like dear old mother. But heaven help father and mother was ever like this. Now every time I think of her, I jump right out of my skin. Well, I'll never forget the time that she attacked poor Errol Flynn. I thought I married a girl like dear old mother. Oh, so simple, oh, so sweet, and oh, so pure. Now she says she likes antique furniture, just fills her with romance. So I bought her a bed that dated back to Louis II of France. But a second Louis got into that bed before I had a chance. Well, I thought I married a girl like dear old Ma. She run a boarding house. I thought I married a girl like dear old Ma. Thank you. If you happen to be sitting around your radio, it's about 9.30 on Thursday evening. And you listen real closely, you hear. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to hear is not true. <laughs> Only the dames have been changed to protect the husbands. <laughs> Fagnet. My name is Saturday. I overslept. <laughs> Officer Chief Parker and myself were working out of homos, or homicides, excuse me. <laughs> he was working on a case, and I was working on a fifth. I finished my fifth and then started helping him with his case. 11.30 a.m., we're supposed to find a body, a dead one. The guy's name was Anderson. He was somewhere between Anaheim, Masusa, and Cucamonga. 11.45 a.m., still working on a half a case. <laughs> Got as far as Anaheim and Susan, two turned knocked out to get to Cucamonga. 11.50 a.m., we're standing on the corner with a knife in one hand and a gun in the other. We don't know where to cut across the street or shoot around the corner. 12, we found him. He'd been laid out, dead. He had committed Susie sideways. Felt his pulse, he had none. We looked in his wallet, he had none. We searched his pants, you guessed it. <laughs> this guy had blanked out all the way around. Now the funny part about him was, he didn't commit suicide like you and I would. Didn't shoot himself in the head, didn't cut his throat, didn't hang himself. 
he jumped in a bucket of Jergens lotion and softened himself to death. <laughs> I am the hustler. I know many strange tales. Some in Shimbashi, some in Shinjuku, depends on how far you want to go. I know many strange things, and I do them all. <laughs> The story I'll tell you tonight is a very strange and enchanting story, and it goes like this. My name is Sam Spade. Private eye, nose, ears. I'm sitting in my private office, looking out my private window, dropping private eye drops in my private eye. As I look out my window, a tall blonde walks by. Now you ask me how I know she's tall. My office is on the fourth floor. <laughs> The doorbell rings. I get out of my chair, trip over the couch, unlatch a latch, open the door, nobody there. I close the door, latch a latch, trip over the couch, go back and sit down. The doorbell rings again. I get out of my chair, trip over the couch, unlatch a latch, open the door, nobody there. I close the door, latch a latch, grab the couch, throw it out the four-story window, go back and sit down. The doorbell rings again. I get out of my chair, unlatch a latch, open the door. There stands a beautiful babe. I jump out the window, get the couch, bring it back, put it on the floor, and invite her in. I'm no fool. She was barefooted, up to here. She says, I like your style. I said, I like your smile. She said, I like your eyes. I said, I like your thighs. She said, I like your class. I said, come in and sit down. I said, how about a drink? She says, yeah, I have scotch. So I look at my bottom drawer, no scotch. Nothing there but a bottle of ink. So we drink that. Now we're feeling mighty blue. I go down to my favorite bar. He says to the bartender, you seen anybody looking for me? He says, as a matter of fact, there was. There was a guy in here about 18 feet tall, had on a green suit, pink tie, orange shoes, purple socks, and a popcorn machine on his back. I said, did you notice anything strange about it? He says, as a matter of fact, I did. But there wasn't any butter on the popcorn. So there's nothing to do to report the case. So we went to the judge and we said, Judge. M, what's my M-O? M-O-P, M-O-P-P. -P. Miggy, he dotted Miggy and you're right there. <laughs> R, I said R-A, R-A-G, R-A-G-G. Rag, R-A-G-G, M-O-P-P, rag my blue bobby doo bop, 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 R-A-G-G, M-O-P-P, B. I said B U B U L B U L L Bull B U L L Bull 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 I said S H S H E S H E D Shed B U L L S H E D Bullshed and Badoo Bobby Doo Bop 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 B U L L S H E D Bullshed Thank you very much. Here is a, another sort of kind of a number about beautiful girls. Oba, 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 John. Tell me, little moose, if you can wiggle your caboose like the deuce. Tell me if you do. We'll dance the cha-cha, just me and you. Japanese rumba, ay ay ay. Japanese rumba, ay ay. Japanese rumba, ay ay ay. Musume shimpai nai ne. Shimpai nai means don't worry about nothing. You speak butterfly. If you speak sake, then my answer is hi. But if it's gin you say, then my old Connie will fly away. 
Japanese rumba, ay ay ay. Japanese rumba, ay ay. Japanese rumba, ay ay ay. Musume kiyotsukete. Ne? Kiyotsukete means. Bring two more, will you? Take it easy, ne? Call Aishi Mus. I use ding while speak mushy mush and o nay. Answer Papa San. I speak dai jobu ko men aside. Japanese rumba, ay ay ay. Japanese rumba, ay ay. Japanese rumba, ay ay ay. Papa San speak Shinji Mai. Kumbawa Shinji Mai means drop dead. Oh, I have a Simus. Konnichiwa. Oh, yes, a mina Sai Shinji Mai. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before I came up, someone asked me to sing a French song. Well, I only know one French song. And that's holidays for strings. <laughs> that goes la 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 Anyway, I'll sing another one. <laughs> Darling, je vous aime beaucoup. Je ne sais pas what to do. You know you completely stolen my heart. Morning, noon, and night time too. Too sure, wondering what to do. You know that I loved you right from the start. My sherry, my love for you. Wish my friends were good enough. I tell you so much more, but I hope that you can all the things. To me, darling, je vous aime beaucoup. I love you. Yes, I do. Now, Mama bought a rooster. She thought it was a duck. She put it on the table with his legs straight up. The kids gathered round with a spoon and a glass, trying to dig some gravy from its yes, yes, yes. Mama, 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 come here and look at little sis. She's out in the backyard doing the cha cha like this. Mama said, Little sister, you coming here mighty, mighty fast. And stop. That shake in your yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Suzuki and I were walking down the street. Suzuki got a pain in the bottom of his feet. He stepped over and sat down in the grass, and the same pain struck him in the yes, yes, yes. The black cat was sewing on the sewing machine. He sewed the most beautiful stitches that one has ever seen. 
He got so happy that he sold too fast. He sold 99 stitches in his years, years, years. The monkey was sitting way up on the mantelpiece. The monkey fell off in a big bucket of hot grease. He tried to get out, but he wasn't too fast. He's the only monkey living with a French fried, yes, yes, yes. Old folks are doing it and the young folks are too. Old folks tell the young folks exactly what to do. Now they say shake your shoulders and shake them mighty fast. But if you can't shake your shoulders, shake your yes, 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 and that'll get it every time. Thank you. You know, there's nothing like the old songs that sort of kind of bring back memories. Back in Tin Pan Alley, when I was plugging songs, I used to plug such old perennials as Dinah. I plug Margie. I plug Sweet Lorraine. Now oh, there's a nice piece. I'll never forget that. Later on, I plug the old gray mare. And believe me, she ain't what she used to be. I, I, I. I'd like to sing some of those oldies for you right about now. Some beautiful oldies. You'll probably all remember this particular one. Twas on a pile of debris that I met her. She was as plastered as plastered could be. You could smell gin for ten feet around her as she lay on that pile of debris. I said, baby, won't you please push over? But she wasn't a pushover, you see. She just laid there and stared straight up at me as she lay on that pile of debris. I could hear the lady mutter as she softly shed a tear. This is the sad part right here. This is my own private gutter. So what the deuce are you doing here? As we rose with the gendarmes in the morning, to you was such a beautiful sight to see as we sat hand in hand in the dawning palsy walsies on that pile of debris there was Eddie Howard and Dick Jergen who sang this wonderful tune she ain't got no breath of flower got a breath that's more like gin after kissing her for hours It's a sin She has eyes that really thrill you Puts her in some sort of class And this next line's gonna kill you You know, it rhymes with class. <laughs> Lost my nerve. And of course, our lovely lobby tunes, this one by Mr. Bob Hope, that he uses to this day as his theme song. He sang it in the big broadcast of 1950. Thanks for the memories. When I unexpectedly came home at half past three, you didn't have the courtesy to stop and speak to me. How lovely it was. Thanks for the memories. The night that I came home and found you not alone, you said he was a nudist, just dropped in to use the phone. How lovely it was. And then, of course, we couldn't omit Mr. Frank Sinatra and that wonderful picture that he played in, Three Coins in a Fountain, from a, from a song of the same name. Three queers in the men's room each one seeking happiness. <laughs> In walked a sailor. Which one will the Navy bless? <laughs> then, of course, Miss Doris Day, who sang this wonderful tune. You go upstairs to get undressed, and all at once you've got no chest. It's magic. <laughs> the things I wed you for are upstairs in the dresser drawer. It's tragic. <laughs> uh, 
And then we had Mr. Helen Forrest, who sang this beautiful tune. If you see my darling with somebody new, keep it a secret, let him catch it too. <laughs> And then, of course, we couldn't omit Miss Patty Page, that singing rage who sang, Once I had a secret love She said she loved me passionately But when I tried to pay my love She said her love to me was free. When I asked her why her love was free, she said, Seely's mattress sponsors me. Last night, we're on Channel 4. Now my secret love's no secret anymore. Thank you very much. Now to sign off with something a little bit up tempo. I like so to kind of sing if you go to. Okay, what about it? I'll bite. Oh, that isn't in this recording. <laughs>